Hello, my name is Douwe Frits Bruns and I welcome you to the first massive open online course on bio-based economy at the level of University of Applied Sciences. We are glad to have you in our course and hope you will enjoy. This week will be devoted to a basic understanding of the bio-based economy and of biomass and to a preview of what you can expect in the rest of the course. Imagine the world at the time of our grandchildren. Many fossil resources like oil, metals or phosphate rock will have been depleted and, if not, they are incredibly expensive in the hands of terrorist regimes and heavily fought over. Meanwhile, our grandchildren will have a much lower living standard than we have nowadays, recycling the products of our generation as much as they can and spending half of their income on energy. What's more, complete countries will have disappeared under sea level and increasingly extreme weather will seek home harvests, leading to massive starvation worldwide. This is a bit of a doom scenario, but in the end, experts do agree that we are facing a few future challenges at the same time. An increasing world population that has to be fed, the depletion of fossil resources and a greenhouse gas-induced climate change. In order for our way of living to be sustainable, the solution requires innovations and a disciplined agenda of transforming our way of living. This required discipline is well described by the Trias Energetica, or Trias Ecologica, a design philosophy from construction engineering. It comes down to this. First, reduce the use of energy and materials as much as possible and acceptable. Part of this should be done by reusing and recycling energy or materials as much as possible. If you use energy or materials, apply renewable resources as much as possible. And this refers to the sun, the wind and biomass. That is, biomass in, in as far as it can be regrown. Finally, only if you cannot do any of these things, apply fossil resources, but in an efficient and clean manner. The trias comes in many variants and there are comparable descriptive models. So, we have to ban the use of coal, oil and natural gas as much as possible and using biomass is just one way to do so. Using biomass for formerly fossil-based energy or materials is referred to as the bio-based economy. You might say that the bio-based economy is an economy where all fossil resources have been banned and have been replaced by biomass. Biomass is defined by us as any matter that has a recent biological origin following the CEN definition. Using regrowable resources for energy and materials is an inevitable part of a sustainable future. Its main effect is to close the carbon cycle. Bio-based carbon has recently been drawn from the atmospheric CO2 stock by photosynthesis. Releasing it back will not structurally add to the CO2 stock in our atmosphere. As we all know by now, the surplus of this atmospheric CO2 is the main cause of the greenhouse effect. A bio-based economy is therefore also a part of the circular economy. The circular economy often is depicted in two cycles, a biotic and an abiotic one. The bio-based economy basically is the biotic cycle within the circular economy. Is the bio-based economy something new? No, on the contrary. Before our ancestors began mining coal and turf, all energy used was renewable. Many materials nowadays are still made out of biomass exclusively, such as paper, construction wood or woolen clothes. But if we want to follow up on the recommendation of the Intergovernment Panel on Climate Change in November 2014 to ban all fossil oil and coal by 2100, we will have to come up with quite some new solutions and fast. We must not make the mistake to present the bio-based economy as a painstaking, tedious, heroic quest to save our world. It is good to have a sense of urgency, but bio-based economy is far more than that. It is also about a new economic perspective for farmers and farming regions, new business opportunities for innovating companies, a way for the energy and chemical sectors to rejuvenate, a competitive edge for the willing countries, better returns for sustainable investors. Imagine that all the money that we now spend on oil, which disappears into a few super-rich oil-producing multinationals and countries, instead will stimulate rural regions worldwide. 
So bio-based economy really is about economics. And besides, it's a lot of fun to do. In our last lesson of this course, we shall come back to these issues and investigate what the bio-based economy brings us in terms of economy, reduction of greenhouse gases, and on other sustainability aspects. In this video, I gave you a first understanding of what bio-based economy is about. In the next video of this week, I will walk you through the different types of bio-based products, bio-based energy, and the different types of biomass. In doing so, I will outline the total course and present the themes of the following weeks in connection with each other.